So early myelofibrosis is a, is a heterogeneous state. Uh, and I think when deciding on a treatment plan for these patients, really have to be mindful of what is their phenotype of disease, what is the burden that they face. They really range a spectrum, early MF by pre-MF by WHO criteria is almost like ET. They have a high plate account, the risk of thrombosis or bleeding, they may have risk of symptoms. And MN is in very much like ET patients, a side of reduction, trying to avoid progression, tend to favor the pegylated interferons to potentially have more of a disease slowing benefit for that group of patients. Early MF may be earlier patients in terms of low risk, but really overt myelofibrosis with advanced symptoms. And according to current treatment guidelines, certainly would consider JAK inhibition. Bruxolidinib, I think, has been the standard in that group. According to our guidelines, there is also data that has really come from real world evidence that is supportive of that. Now, the concept of waiting on, ther on therapy for MF is a bit historical and I think has really been uh, in our models because of really lack of efficacy of prior therapies that we used. We think of pre-JAK inhibition, you know, we use therapies like hydroxyurea, thalidomide, or other things. I think as new approaches evolve, whether they be combination therapies for myelofibrosis, whether they be vaccines against cow reticulin once proven effective. You know, I think intervening earlier in this progressive and serious disease, you know, will make sense probably at least in a subset of patients based on risk and other difficulties.